Hey everyone, welcome to the College Lead YouTube channel where I talk about how to prepare for and apply to college. Today I will be covering how to edit your essays, and this will be a four or five part series, and I'll try to post at least one or two videos every week. So definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of these tips. Though I will be focusing this video on specifically how to edit college essays, the tips that I'll provide throughout this series will apply to any writing assignment you'll have, whether you're a freshman in high school, a sophomore, junior, senior, or even in college. So be sure to watch this video from the very beginning all the way to the end, and stay tuned for the other episodes as well. So with that, let's get started. The inspiration for this video series came from my Instagram account, actually. I posted in my story any YouTube video requests. I'm trying to figure out what to film next. And one of my followers suggested how to edit your essays, the basics. I loved this idea. And so here are the series. If you would like to get involved, definitely follow me on Instagram for tips and tricks on how to apply for college, as well as be a part of the videos that I make. I often ask for suggestions. I do fun Q and A's through my stories. So be sure to check me out. It's just at college lead. There are many different ways on how you can edit your college essay, but I like to think of the steps broadly in these four uh, buckets, if you will. So the first bucket will be answering the prompt, just sanity checking. Did you answer the prompt? Is there anything you should change on the content end? Then once you have a solid foundation of content, you can check number two, which is, are you specific in your essay? A lot of mistakes that I've seen students make is stating general, uh, writing general sentences. For instance, I believe I'm a good fit for UT Austin. But the problem is, if you stick with writing general sentences, your essay will not be unique or specific to you. It'll be a lackluster essay. So being specific is the key to unlocking how to make a stellar standout essay that is unique and specific to you. In step three, I'll cover how to be concise, how to cut down the words so then you can fit within whatever word limit you are dealing with. Lastly, there are a few final checks just to make sure, for instance, double checking for grammar, spelling, all of that miscellaneous stuff. But again, I think the order of answering the prompt, that being specific, concise, and last checks is the order that I would generally recommend. After all, answering the prompt and the content will set a solid foundation for the rest of your essay. So I will cover number two through four in my other videos. So again, stay tuned for those. But today I'll be focusing on how to check whether you have answered the prompt. So again, content. Let's focus on building a solid foundation. Did you answer the prompt? There was this funny meme I found online and I would say it's pretty accurate. So how I felt when writing the first draft, you feel awesome, right? It's just a flow of ideas and you're just putting your ideas out on the page. But then sometimes when you take a step back to read it, you're thinking, how did I come up with this? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I run to, into this problem all the time. Um, writing or getting my ideas out on paper for me personally is the hardest part. You might struggle with editing rather than just getting your ideas on paper. Either way, you're, we're all going to have to face editing that first draft. And it can be a mess because our thoughts aren't always perfectly organized. In any essay, and especially in the college application essay, your priority is to make sure that you answer what the prompt is asking. For instance, if someone asks you, what is your favorite color? If you answer, not blue and not red, you're not exactly answering the prompt. So you wanna make sure that you are asking whatever question the admission officers or the school wants to know about you. Oh, I, let me move my video camera actually to here and I might have to move myself around, so <laughs> bear with me. So one main method that I found very useful in just sanity checking, did I answer the prompt, is to try the reverse outline. There are a few parallel steps involved, and I'll walk you through it in this diagram here. So first, read your essay and then write a reverse outline based on your essay. For instance, as the first three paragraphs talk about your intro story, turn that into point one and say intro story, and then write one brief statement summarizing that. Um, and then again, write an essay based on, sorry, write an outline based on your essay. Next, look at the prompt and look at these two separately. So first look at your essay and then separately look at your prompt. And in your prompt, take a look at what the prompt asks you to write about and break that prompt down into an outline. If you're wondering how exactly to do that, I'll show you in the next slide. But 
the high level steps in trying the reverse outline is to compare these two outlines that you have, the one from your essay and the one from the prompt, and then ask yourself, do these two match or is there any part that is missing? So let's try it. I will cover an example and the example outline for an essay will be the same one that it covered in this video here. I will link it below in the description, so be sure to check it out, because here I show you how you can get started on the college essay. Hopefully you've already started, especially since it's late October now, almost November. Um, actually, probably November when I film it, or when I post this, so you should definitely have started. But if you just want a refresher on the outline that I will be using in this example, then go back to this video and take a look. Okay, so let's hop to uh, the example. So one of the steps that I mentioned here is to first read your essay and then write the outline from your essay and then read the prompt and then write the outline from the essay. I meant from the prompt, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'll fix it in the review. But let's try that. So here, let me move myself out of the way. Okay, here we go. So let's say that the prompt you are answering is this common apt prompt. The lessons we take from obstacles we encounter can be fundamental to later success. Recount a time when you faced a challenge, setback, or failure. How did it affect you, and what did you learn from the experience? So, as I mentioned in my previous video that I'll link in the description, you can break this prompt down into three categories based on what it's asking you. The first category, as highlighted in blue, will be A, discuss a challenge. Then the second point that you should mention is how did that challenge affect you? So point B in the green. Lastly, what did you learn from the experience? So point C, yellow. As I mentioned in that other video, if you really want to write a standout essay, consider adding a fourth point, which is this. How these lessons, sorry, I meant these, I'll fix that again in the PDF I'll send out. So how these lessons make you better positioned for success in college and beyond. So here is the outline based on what the prompt is asking us. Now let's take a look at our own outline in our theoretical essay. Let's say that we wrote uh, an essay and the reverse outline we got from that looks something like this. We talked about a challenge and the challenge was a lab in microbiology. The lab was about identifying bacteria, but our tests just keep, kept failing. We learned from that experience that failing doesn't mean that you're actually a failure. Failing is equal to progress and growth because you learn from your mistakes and know not to do them or repeat them again. And the conclusion, we wrote that I'm ready to overcome other challenges that I'll encounter in college and in my career. So now let's compare those two outlines and see if there's any sections that are missing. So here is the overall um, category. So feel free to pause the slide here and give it a go and see what parts might be missing and what parts we might need to add. Okay, I hope you paused and went through the exercise yourself and I'll show you the answer that I came up with. Let's compare the two. So again, we have the prompt. And then we have um, on this side over here, the outline from the prompt. And then here we have the outline from our own essay. So if we take a look here, we discussed a challenge. The prompt asks us to discuss a challenge. And we did discuss a challenge. We have to describe how the challenge affected us. Ooh, we might be missing that in our essay. So that's a section we have to note and we should include. Next is lesson learned. Did we cover that? Yes. How this lesson makes us better positioned for success in college and beyond. Yeah, that's a section that we've covered in our essay. So now we know that, yikes, this part is missing. We better go back to the writing stage and add this section. Just add a couple of sentences describing how that challenge affected us. Maybe in this particular example, kept continuously failing in that lab made you feel like, oh, I don't know if I want to continue doing this. It's a struggle. And you maybe feel demotivated and discouraged. And then comes the lesson learned and realization that sort of is the pivot point for the rest of the essay. Again, this is just a complete illust illustrative example, just to give you an idea of what I mean by try your reverse outline. But you can see from this method how you can double check that all the content that is required of you is in your essay. And this is the key step. So now in our theoretical student, our theoretical student will go back and add the missing section before you continue writing your essay. I'm going back again to what I've mentioned before. You want to set a solid foundation in your essay. This is a fun um, image online I found. It says that creating software is like building a skyscraper. Without a solid foundation, everything will collapse. So I would say it's the same thing for an essay. Creating an essay or writing an essay is like building a skyscraper. Without a solid foundation, everything will collapse. So that's why 
answering the prompt and checking the content is the first step in editing your essay. Always sanity check yourself and ask if you are providing all the information that the colleges want to know of you. And once we have that solid foundation, we can go on to fix the little um, granular details, which is being specific, being concise, and doing the last grammar checks. If you're worried that your essay is not unique to you or doesn't stand out, then subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll be posting part two on how to be specific in my next video. And if you found this video helpful, I would love it if you could help support my channel by giving it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.